What's up guys, my name is Sebastian Stratman and I hope you guys are having a great day and will continue having one. It is like 9 a.m. and I woke up inspired to do something today. So what can you do for like $15 when that's all you got to have fun with with your car? You can paint your grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint my grill black. I was gonna paint it a different color cause kinda everyone paints their grill black, but I'm gonna have to wait till it's purple and then I'll probably make it either orange or maybe like a really satin red for the uh, purple wrap. So for now, I'm just gonna paint her black, but we're gonna head over to AutoZone and go pick up that paint and primer. Alrighty, so before I just get up and go to AutoZone, I did want to go ahead and clean my grill. I'm gonna be doing this at um, my dealership. I work at Mazda. Um, this could be a little bit easier than doing it here at my apartment complex. So as you guys can see, I do have quite a few little chips in my uh, grill here. So I'm hoping sanding this down is going to help. But, I mean, worse comes to worse. I just need to replace the grill because it's already pretty beat up. I really just used an old t-shirt for that, but you can definitely use a rag. God fucking damn it, I got my check engine light. So, yep, we got the check engine light. So I skipped the whole auto zone trip and I'm now going over to my dealership. I don't know why I didn't keep my OBD2 code reader on me, um, but I left it over there. So I have to go over here anyway to read the code, but we'll figure out what's going on then. This is just low key really disappointing. Not low key, but I just hope it's something small. Usually a check engine light on a engine that isn't supposed to have a check engine light uh, means there's something pretty big wrong. This engine is really, really strong. I did notice that it takes a very specific and expensive ass spark plug in the last owner. Did do a lot of maintenance to it, but I feel like he was kind of like me and wouldn't go to like rock auto for everything. There's some things that I'll always go to infinity for, like spark plugs. They have to do, be like a certain type of lithium and all kinds of craziness. So I'm hoping it's, it po possibly could be spark plugs because I thought I might've felt a misfire, but. It's not on that taken quite a long time oh shit fuck just in case you guys didn't know what that meant that means I can't drive my car until I get that part this is my air to fuel ratio sensor and I thought it was gone was able to get the O2 sensor that I needed the original sensor that I did buy for it was the fuel to air ratio sensor um, that code was no longer present. So we returned the part. <sighs> Shouldn't have done that and just replaced it. It was just a very, very expensive sensor that if I didn't need, I didn't want to get. But now I really need it because now my car can explode if I don't have that sensor.
So I don't want to drive my car, so I'm literally walking my ass to O'Reilly's to pick up this fuel to air ratio sensor. It looks easy enough that I can just put it in myself. So we're gonna give it a shot. We're here. That took forever and a half, but we got it. Um, they first gave me a mass airflow sensor and I was like, no, that's, that's not what I need. It's just the opposite one to the one I just did. Um, but yeah, it, it literally is just an oxygen sensor that's called an airflow sensor. So it confuses people, I guess. Alrighty, so I've got her back again. It was all like an hour long process. Um, it wasn't too bad. So we actually didn't end up replacing the sensor because I realized that the sensor that I was about to replace was brand spanking new. I just replaced it um, in the last video. Um, so what happened was my, the prongs or whatever, the connector of the O2 sensor was a little corroded, was a little rusty, um, not broken. So what we did is I put some electric grease, I'll put a picture right there of what it was onto the actual prongs and hopefully that's gonna work we cleared the codes but if it is the case if it is that worst case scenario where i have to replace the connectors i'll have to go to infinity nice but uh, i also am now replacing um not replacing i'm also now returning the uh O2 sensor to O'Reilly's. I've probably returned about as many things as I bought from here. I think this was a rude awakening that I need to hold off on any cosmetic modifications, um, even one that is as simple as $15 until um, I get her perfectly sound. I need to drive her for at least another couple months to make sure um, everything else is fine, the engine's doing good and all of that. Still gotta do that timing chain. Um, that's going to be coming here soon. So we still got a lot of work to put into her. I need to hold off on some fun for now. But as long as she runs and she's still fast, she's still fun. So I'm having a lot of fun anyway. I hope you guys are having a great day and will continue having one. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. This has been quite an adventure for me. It may have been short for you guys, but wow. I'm glad we just were able to get this taken care of right off the bat. It was just, it was a little scary. So as you guys just saw, I just did my first pulse. Um, it was so, so fun. I have never, ever, ever, ever gone that fast. And holy f cow, I, wow. <laughs> this is the first time I've even talking after I did it. I was, I've been so scared to rip this car a little bit um just in case but i need i need to figure out what's what's gonna happen when it's gonna happen and shit like that so i needed to just give it a shot and i ripped it so now i'm gonna pop the hood and see um if there is any damage all righty here we are okay so i did clean everything up just a little bit but my hood doesn't stay open. Is my coolant fucking empty? Can't fucking see in there. I don't think I have a coolant leak, but that is quite fucking empty. I can't fucking tell. Well, so yeah, it does look like I'm empty of coolant. Um, unless there is another place for it to go.
I just topped it off. That's the confusing part. I didn't find any oil leaks and there's no coolant, there's no signs of a coolant leak. All right, the flash is on. So any oil, it should flash at me. Any coolant too, hopefully. I know my coolant tank's over there, so I need to get over there. So, there is a leak there, but I'm pretty sure we knew about this one. Um, I should have done this at the shop.